We have an Arcovaleno AX90 and we're gonna start from the controls. There will be an emergency stop here, kill switch, which is a twist lock. And this is how we turn it on. And by the way, this is a, um, shipped separate from the machine uh, for the safety purposes. Now, so we know we have a power through the digital display. And now we, we have to go on to uh, uh, the first part that will be the pasta cutter, which is, is on, off, and then the, we control the cut length through this potentiometer. Then you'll have uh, the uh, mi uh, mixing uh, start button, then obviously stop. Then we have the extruding push button here. Then we have a toggle switch to turn on and off the fan. And we have a, a digital display temperature, um, which is actually a temperature controller as well. To uh, start the production, we'll start, these are all the machine parts. We have a mixer, we have an auger shaft, we have a mixer shaft bearing, we have a, a die ring, and an extrusion die. We'll start with uh, the auger. Just insert it. Line, line up with the back end the drive. Lift it up slightly, and press into position. Then we'll have the mixer shaft, feed it through the front, and back. Okay. And then we have a front bearing, we lift the spin, so, then we feed. And then we turn it. Okay, then we have a diary. Then we, <clears throat> we want a slightly tight tie right there. We can start with flour in the mixer. Close the mixer. Turn the mixer on. Add the water. We're going to give it approximately two minutes time and we'll come back when we're ready. Okay. The mixing process, it, uh, it is completed. We stop the machine, open the gate, uh, we have a test, we squeeze a handful, break it with the thumb. We see that it goes into a particles but it doesn't go into dust, so it is ready. We come on the front, we turn the extrusion on. Um, and a note, uh, when I mentioned that after you, you receive the die and you use it for the first time, uh, the second time and on will be coming back from the water bath. So what you want to do, you turn the extruder on, use a paper towel to capture the um, all the product left behind in the die which is gonna be you know cleansed through the you can see pushing through and we'll wipe it stop the machine and now we can start okay now we have a cutting knife there is a set screw 
at this point, there is a, a flat on the drive shaft. We line them up like so. We want to see that there is a. We want to see that there is a spring. Okay. So we'll reach. We'll reach through. We put a sideways like so, all the way. All the way through. Then turn it. So lock it in place. Plug the socket down below. Right there. What we want to do? We turn it, turn it on, and and adjust the. Just to the speed gently on this end. Okay. When it's ready, you can switch. There will be some black parts that's part of the metal rubbing against the die. The, the center auger it does not it doesn't doesn't flow inside the extrusion. Turn on turn on the extrude and wait the the door stops, then we stop, now we can pull the auger off, there we go, we want to scrub it, yeah. and then we'll go into the uh, dishwasher or submerse in water. Um, meanwhile, we're cleaning the rest of the machine. Here we go. So we're gonna submerge the auger, and then we'll go back at the end when we're done. Along, actually, along the way for the uh, mixer shaft. the plastic knife to clean the bulk like so and then we go in the front we'll, uh, we'll clean we'll clean the splines with the cleaning tool like so and then we'll come back with the vacuum vacuum everything Thoroughly clean, and then don't have any residual. Next 
stainless steel. back one more time in the vacuum. We come back with a kitchen towel with a water sanitizing solution and we'll run through the hole inside like so. Okay, and we'll run it to the front. Okay. The pen and die, we use a, a different type of a cutting knife that sits like so. You always want to make sure that the the blade is sitting flat against the surface and a good spot would be about four o'clock right here you know we can see that there is no daylight coming through the back of the blade so we know that is gonna give it a proper shear if not all we have to do just back bend it with the thumb we you know um bend it so that it can sit flat because accidentally can be drop can be dropped on the surface and it will be out of uh, shape. Okay. Now we have a similar process. Set screw. We line it up with the flat right there on the cutting knife. There we go. Spring loaded. We reach from we reach from uh, below. We pull it. We pull it back. We hold it. Then we feed it right through here like so, all the way until it stops, and then turn back, vertical and lock in position, just gently snug, doesn't have to be super tight. And that concludes the uh, pen and knife assembly.